Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach with you here today for another edition of Madden Ultimate Team. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went four on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Now we'll see what his offense can do. Dance into his left. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. This defense. Has accepted the penalty. So that means they will not take possession on the fumble recovery. Boy, not sure why in the world you do that, but that is. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked up by the Hall of Famer, John Lynch. And the Colts are going to take over here up near the 40. done another one up another one down keep grinding and keep racking up those wins Hello there, it's the coach with you here today, and this is an ultimate challenge. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. 
In for the sack, Deion Jones. And they brought the pressure there just right up the gut, didn't they? Yeah, they certainly did. And you know, when you've got so many different responsibilities as an offensive line, you got to deal with the nose tackle, the two defensive tackles or ends, and then sometimes you just can't account for everyone. The linebacker slipped free. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle it, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out and hope you can get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively, and they stop him well short. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Taking it about the 36. but not before he takes it inside the 40. There you have it, another challenge and another victory. Now remember, you can always replay challenges if you left any stars on the table. Hey everybody, welcome. It's the coach with you here today for another edition of Madden Ultimate Team. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time they were stopped on fourth down, had a drive stalled out. We'll see how they respond this go around. I'm eager to see what their mindset is because moving the ball, feeling good, and then that abrupt stop on fourth down, do they go back to the bench and go, oh, boy, they've got something for us, or do they go to the bench and say, we blew it ourselves, let's get back out there and move the ball again. And is it different when you get stopped on fourth versus punt? Is that more motivation for the defense, a little more confidence? I think as a defense, you're so excited with a fourth down stop. Making a punt, that's your goal anyway, but a fourth down stop, that's almost a sign of disrespect that they went for it in the first place. And when you get that, you feel great about yourselves. Rodgers now on first down. And this is caught. First catch by Brandon Marshall. Okay, so you won't be going undefeated against this challenge, but hey, the good news, losses don't count against you, so give it another shot. And now the offense getting set. First and ten. Here's Rodgers to throw. It's caught by Sanders. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And it'll be second and ten. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And this is going to be incomplete. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it, because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and ten. Congratulations on yet another victory. And you can go right to the next challenge if there's another one available, or return to challenges to receive.
Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. I'm the coach, and this is Madden Ultimate Team. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense, because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down... And the offense readies for a first down and 10. Throwing is Rodgers. The left side here to Sanders. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try and run for this with Singletary. And he will not get there as they stop him short right around the 34-yard line. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. So on now is Johnny Hecker to punt this one away. This is fielded at the 27. 35 yards that time on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. All right, you did it. You got the win. Congratulations. Keep that momentum going. And Hello, everyone. You're watching Ultimate Challenges, and I'm your host, The Coach. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And last time we saw them go for it in kind of an unusual situation. It's not like it's a fourth quarter do or die. They went for it, didn't get it. We'll see how that affects of this go around. Partner, I'm wondering if we're starting to see the effects of analytics coming into play here, where people are studying the number of possessions, how many times you should go for it, what position it leaves your team in. Maybe we're starting to see a little bit of that creeping into the NFL game. Yeah, I think we, we've seen it in other sports, maybe into the NFL now as well. Meanwhile, Brady's throw complete there to right. And they let this run up field across the 45. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A big play that time through the air. 36 yards. Now we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go Band of Brothers' thought process. No one left behind. No pointing fingers. No accusations. Because if you don't, those quick strikes we just saw, they become long-lasting. Nice job there getting the win. Next up, another challenge, of course.
Welcome, everybody. I'm the coach. Up next, another ultimate challenge on EA Sports. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and 10. And they work this well up field across the 45. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking round and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Here's Brady to throw. Steps away to his left. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. And a strange one here, a little befuddled. They're sending out the field goal unit now. From the right hash, this from 48. Tucker's kick is good. And the Colts hit the scoreboard first. It's 3 nothing. Well done. You've defeated this ultimate challenge. Now, if there are stars still available, you can always replay the challenge again. Otherwise, it's time to move on to the next one. The coach here, and welcome to this ultimate challenge. Sit back and relax. You're in for a real treat with this matchup. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. A leap and he's got it. Just about do it for us in this one. You've notched another win, and the next challenge awaits. Hello there, it's the coach with you here today, and this is an ultimate challenge. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and ten. Flush to his right. Open man here, it's the tight end Kelsey. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. A big play there for Indy. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. 
and that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. Brady's throw taken in by Cook, and he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. But normally you see three tight ends in a formation, you have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run, and I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run these tight ends nowadays in the NFL, but just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. Touchdown, Colts! Tom Brady to his old Patriot pal, Rob Gronkowski. And the Colts are going to take a first quarter lead. And just like that, another ultimate challenge has been defeated. Savor the victory, if only for a moment, because you know there's always another challenge right around the corner. Hey folks, it's the coach here. Welcome back for another exciting matchup in Madden Ultimate Team. The courts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. Looking for Kelsey on the deep ball. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. They throw down the field, caught by his running back. That's what he is. That's what he is. Taking the lead. Nicely done. Another one up. Another one down. Keep playing. Keep racking up those. Hello, everyone. You're watching Ultimate Challenges, and I'm your host, The Coach.
Adams flying in from seat for the second. Let's get an 18. Another try after the first down sack. Great by time to his left. And oh, look at the catch by Gronkowski. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. for a first down. On first and ten, here's Brady. Flushed out right. Throw to cross his body and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 20. There you have it. Another challenge and another victory. Now remember, you can always replay challenges if you left any stars on the table.